Ah. Uh. Hey Stan, what's up? Hey Jimmy, how are you doing? Yeah, are you loving Mortal Kombat 10 or what? How are you loving that game, man? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good game, Stan. Yo, Jimmy, every good game can become better with product integration. No, I'm not sure if I ever heard that before. Oh, Jimmy, check this out. Dude, what did you do to my hat? Jimmy, that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. Look at this, Doritos, snap it to some flavor, man. Doritos, for one reason or another, did not want to go the route of DLC for Mortal Kombat, but just hear me out, I really think that we have something with SlimFast. Now, instead of punching people in the face, we can make people want to punch out their favorite junk food. Sending you a trailer to this new DLC. Okay, I'll take a look. Let me check it out. But uh, I'm gonna check out this trailer. See what it's all about. Slim Fast! Kano, Johnny Cage, Scorpion, Debbie, Cindy, Stacy. Okay, so the bar has been set for fighting games. There's a lot of incredible fighting games out there to choose from. You got Soul Calibur, Tekken, of course, it's got the Street Fighter series, Blaze Blue, you've got Guilty Gear. Um, there's a lot of great, incredible fighting games to choose from. Mortal Kombat 10, best fighting game I have played for this generation so far. And let me just say something. I really need to point something out because I'm such a huge fan of the Street Fighter series. Not too long ago, Capcom made the statement on how they really wanted Street Fighter 5 to be more accessible and more embraced you know it's going to sell a lot but they want it to be really embraced by the gaming world and let me just say i hope i really hope capcom is taking notes and that their developers um, and and their their different departments have checked out the story mode for mortal kombat 10. okay so now that we're talking about the story let me just get right into it um, I honestly, I haven't really ch seen a lot, a whole lot of reviews, but I did get the chance to check out the review for IGN, and I, I, I apologize, guys, I usually don't do this type of thing, but I have to point this out, because there seems to be mixed reviews in terms of the story for Mortal Kombat 10, okay? IGN stated on how the story was so-so, and they had weak voice acting. Okay, I'm not exactly sure as far as the voice acting. I'm not sure if they're expecting like Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks to lend their voices to. This is a video game we're talking about. And I thought the voice actors did a great job. Um, secondly, as far as the so-so story goes, and some people may be complaining that they didn't quite enjoy this story, maybe I am playing a totally different game because I thoroughly enjoyed the story. I truly good, did. Now I will point out, I also enjoyed the story for Mortal Kombat 9 and not too long ago Ed Boon was actually interviewed by Angry Joe and Angry Joe asked if the story uh, of the game was around the same length as Mortal Kombat 9 and maybe it's just because you know Ed Boon stated and he kind of hesitated with that answer. He said, oh you know the cinematics is the most cinematics we've ever done and it's basically comparable to Mortal Kombat 9. As far as me, maybe my memory is bad, but I could have sworn this story was longer in Mortal Kombat 9, but maybe that's just me. Maybe you guys that have a better memory could kind of let me know what was fact, and, you know, what was real. Uh, but not knocking the story, I truly enjoyed the story. I really like the cast of characters. Very, very diverse. Um, and they were so much fun to play with. Just again, I just cannot praise the story because I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was it's kind of funny and interesting though because with the different character models, um, I, I you know with Sub Zero, I just kept thinking about uh, Billy Mays 
of that infomercial guy. Uh, he, like, he, he didn't want to fight me. I almost thought he wanted to sell me something. So with a fighting game, having solid, crisp gameplay is just so, so important. And for the most part, Mortal Kombat 10 truly nails it. The action is so fast. It's so furious. Um, of course, obviously got hundreds of different moves. Um, I did, though, notice that there was an occasional frame rate drop here and there. Hopefully, that can get fixed with uh, future patches for the game. But for the most part, uh, the gameplay and the frame rate was pretty good, really good. Uh, let's talk about online gameplay. Now, one of my knocks when I did the review for Mortal Kombat 9 was that the online frame rate, there were major drops. The net code really wasn't that good. And I will have to say, as Mortal Kombat 10, while the net code is not perfect, it is by leaps and bounds an improvement. And honestly, that was one of my big concerns for this game. I'm like, you know what? It's a fighter. A lot of these fighters, the net code isn't that good. Ed Boon actually addressed this, and they really have done an amazing job. And I hope that they continue to hone um, and improve the net code for, for Mortal Kombat 10, improve things. But again, leaps and bounds, really enjoyed it. I was actually pretty impressed with how fluid uh, the games and the matches went online. I have to hand it to NetherRealm Studios. Excellent, fantastic job. There, guys, is just so much content in Mortal Kombat 10. You've got towers and all these challenges. And with these different, some of these different towers that I played, you're thrown into these matches with various... Um, obstacles um, and and these things come it's just crazy and insane and wacky uh, in the direction that some of these matches could could go um, also what I really was so excited about um, to be able to play the, the crypt uh, <laughs> does not get old I was like yes they bring they got the crypt being able to explore in the crypt um, added a whole new twist of the gameplay in terms of do you able to get lots of really awesome unlockables and gameplay wise in this first person mode of being able to unlock uh, the like fatalities and art uh, oh man I can I'm thinking about it I cannot wait to go back to the crypt so much fun so addicting and a great way people are like oh man I got a this DLC obviously for to unlock everything you have to get some DLC but there's so much that you can unlock in the crypt and it just adds a, a great additional um, bonus in purchasing Mortal Kombat 10 to be able to play through the crypt. Oh, so much fun. Overall guys, I really recommend that you guys check out Mortal Kombat 10, um, especially if you're in fighting games. Um, such a wonderful, wonderful title. I had so much fun with this game. Like I mentioned, I had the chance to review Mortal Kombat 9. You know, it's, it's been a while since that game was released and had a blast with that one. And guys, if you enjoyed Mortal Kombat 9, you're really, really going to enjoy this one. So much content, so much to do, so much fun. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, definitely click on that thumbs up button, and I'll talk to you later.